Well, a little backstory on the house. Uh, it was the original Mayfield farmhouse, and uh, we bought it from, I think, the granddaughter. I might be mistaken. Uh, awesome, awesome lady, but she's the one that's painted most of the things that are on the outside of the house, and she's made cool things like this uh, concrete dog pen. But she saw the windmill in the yard. Come on, Dobby. Come on, baby. She saw the windmill in the yard, and she said, hey, how come I don't have one of those? And so she's commissioned me I have to excuse the cars coming by, but she's commissioned me to make her one, and so I'm going to let y'all follow me along on that process today. Um, I've got a couple of supplies here at the house, but uh, I've got to run. Oh, I've got to. Whoa, baby girl. Oh, no. I've got to run and go pick up a couple of other things, but I want to take some inventory here. Uh, before I go run out and uh, get some stuff because I don't like buying stuff if I can help it So that's what we're doing today I've got a pair of brand new boots um, I just the hesitation of swapping them out if anybody else is like that. Let me know Let's see what we got. I need some angle iron. I need to clean this up. looks like I need some angle iron. I need some bearings there's some angle iron in there. This is kind of what I do before each project. I'll come around the property and I'll get inventory of what all I've got. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's see, there's a little piece of metal. Got plenty of plate metal for the project because I got the swim packer. I don't know if I have any shovels over here or not yep i knew i had another piece and then there's another piece that goes over there that i checked here before i went down to the swim packer so that's two i think i made mine five feet long one two three four five so i can get two out of those I probably need Two more 20 feet sections and I just went down there and I've got a uh, I've got to run a box section so I think two sticks go ahead and hook up to the trailer um, I go to Seaton's my local scrapyard here and uh, I get the 20 foot sections I figure out how how I would break those up and then I carry me a little cordless uh, zip wheel um somewhere where is it i got it we got a battery where's some cutoff wheel huh but i gotta track that down where the heck is it i think it's back here got a cutoff wheel we got disc. I've got extra disc here. My golly, I think uh, I think we're ready. Hook up to the trailer. Head to the job site. Uh, scour that for some shovels. I need five shovels. I think I might do one shovel in the back, kind of acting like the windmill or the the sail. Even it's just going to be for looks because she doesn't want it to rotate. She wants it just like mine, colors and everything. So, head to the hook up to the trailer, head to the job site, scour for shovels and any kind of other metal. I think I might have some bearings, but they're not very good. I don't have any matching bearings. Uh, check for some rods for a good shaft. Head to Lowe's, pick a piece of plywood while we got the trailer because I need to do some uh, table saw sleds for the stop saw. And then go to Tractor Supply, look at bearings, make my way down. I might have to go to the co-op, look for some bearings. Any kind of farm equipment place is normally a good place. What, I've been talking too much? All right, let's go. I guess I'll show you when we get to the job site. I'm ready to go, baby. We ready. A lot of people might not know, but if you twist your chain, if it's too long, if it's dragging, twist it a couple times. That'll make it, and you always want to crisscross it, but that'll make your link a little bit shorter. You always want to crisscross it because if this falls, it's got somewhere to fall on. 
if they're on either side it falls it goes straight down and it dry eggs you know just something to learn on I've got them stashed all over the place one we need five there's two and when I was walking over here, there's the roll off. It's got foam filled tires, that way it won't pop out here on the job site. Uh, what do I do for a living? Uh, I do metal reclamation, uh, get contracted out by foundries, and uh, I go through all their waste sand. Yeah. And I get all the metal out of it. That's about as straight as you can get. And I used these back when I was in Mississippi to do the axles for my homemade bandsaw. And Napa's got, I think it's a one inch bearing that works perfect for that. So, what we got? Two down. Uh, there. I ain't gonna carry it over there. I'll just get my car, the van. But there's my screener. There's my crane. Uh, let's take a look in here and let's see what we got. It's like going on a it's like going on a little treasure hunt there's three let's see what else we got I know I've got whoop that was so good though aha aha believe we got them all all right next stop Lowe's then Seaton's I'll bring y'all back when we're at Seaton's I'll show that place off if they'll let me so no 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 Napa know-how I got me another one coming in the morning but I said I need a bearing for this one inch and they said octagon bearing and I said I didn't even know those things existed I said no nah, just give me a round one Cause that'll fit right on the end of there and I got me a lock collars this time so when we'll be in the morning check 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 what we're we going we're going to Lowe's then seats tell you what it sure is nice going in somewhere like Napa where everybody knows exactly what they're doing that sure is pleasurable and I thoroughly enjoyed it what am I listening to we got the Hobbit going Heck yeah. What, what? What, what? One of my favorite places. They got used metal outside. We'll see what they got on the inside. I need some clean angle iron for some paint. Let's see what we got. It was a success. We found two sticks of, uh, what did I go with? An inch and a half angle iron. I like coming here and walking around and just getting inspiration and all the cool odd looking different pieces of uh metal that's come off of things so all right let's get it back to the house somebody gonna hit me they're gonna get hit let's get it back to the house and uh we'll get some stuff going it's about lunchtime i think hmm don't worry y'all shut the this is my my skeet of a uh deterrent because they don't want to enter with the wind, so. I guess the first order of business is cut this in half and then get my, my angle. Ah, just short. What I do is I'll throw a stick on and then that gives me a good 90, you know what I'm saying? Nice little mark and then you take your foot off wheel. And mark it and then it gives you, gives you somewhere to go by. Man, it sure does suck in a tank top. You gotta, gotta put your arm out.
given that this is the second one of these I made, I figured I'd go ahead and start making me some jigs. Uh, when I was out at Napa buying the bearings, the guy at the counter, um, he was like, well, are you selling them? I'm like, well, I've actually had two people, you know, ask about them, so might as well start making some jigs. First one, I just grabbed some OSB, very, very simple. I didn't overcomplicate it. I took my measurement from my first support on the first one, which is 16 inches. Cut me a piece 16 inches this way. Uh, measured that, 17 and a half. That's 17 and a half. That's my 10 inches for my top plate base thing, whatever. All right, just goes in there. And then we just line it up to the top of these pieces of angle iron. A little bit of finesse. Something like that. Then I took that measurement, cut that piece. And then once I got that together, because I can just weld that just like that. Then once I got that, I took my other support rail measurement, which was 44, and then I cut a piece as a spacer, space on, which rests up against there. These are the other ones, four in total. Take your piece, are you in frame? Yeah, just cut you a piece as the uh, I'm going to use one on either side. I'll probably use two. But without messing our pitch or angle up up here, I'll probably even run a clamp into that or clamp it to the table. And then I'll make me a mark. I'm going to take my mark once I got this one. Kind of mark where that's going to go. Take that out. Press it into place. Make a mark. And then just take this and go put that on the welding table. I wish I could just bring the welder over to here. Ooh. So I'll bust out two of those real quick. Um, I might put me a time lapse for the for me welding everything together and then stand it up since we've got this piece that's going to be real easy when we have our two sides because then I can use that push it together put my support on flip it around to the back put my support on can you visualize it 3d if I had a really good uh, really good editor uh, we could do some 3d graphics now but I don't we're just going to use our imagination and then I'll transfer these measurements to this piece of wood then I can make another one really easy yep let's do that time lapse commence Shorten the other. 
Don't stay there, please. This thing heavy. I got. What am I listening to? I got black stuff on my face. Uh, Regina Spector. Absolutely adore her. One of the cool things that I found out when my wife and I first started dating is that we both like Regina Spector. Pretty cute. So we'll take this. Should make two of those, huh? No, no, no. Oh, I was supposed to plant that first. Ooh. Ooh. Can I do it? What do y'all? Just, just come over here and just hold it for a second. It's going to plant first. I mean, there's nothing up the tree. I mean, honey, there we go. What do you think? Plant that on? Remember when you're planting metal? Let me go sh shut that dog up, please. Don't want to want All right. I, uh, I threw his ball inside. Oh, two clamps. Got those. No hat maker. I wear a hat, no hat more often, but it's a little flyaways. I think we're just good to go. Well, if I am, don't overthink stuff. Remember, if you do, it'll take you forever to make it. Don't cut it down too hard. Oh, that's what I was saying. Let me cut this fan off. Just in case it's unaudible, and you can't hear it when I go to do it in the old production. When you're welding metal, any heat that you put in there has got to come out. Uh, I learned that from another YouTuber, Jeremy, something, something, something. Uh, but if you plant real, real hard, when you put that heat in there, it's going to want to come out because metal expands when it's hot. So just barely clamp your stuff down. That way when you go to unclamp it, it's not going to want to move at all. Does that make sense? I think I'm going to do this side because I'm going to do it without clamping it. I need to move my ground clamp. This is what you get. Raw, unfiltered oh, maker. And then, uh oh. I don't see another one. Move you up there, Mr. Plant. More messes. Oh, oh, oh. Mm.
my aluminum clamps on fire. Now I think we can just lay that back down on the welding table. What's that? We'll come back when this is all welded. Welded together! Ah! Hey, do me a favor. Hit your thumbs up button. It takes me a lot to build these projects. Not only that, we've got to go inside and for about every 60 seconds of video that you watch, there's about, I don't know, 15 minutes of editing. Think about that. So, best way to support the channel, subscribe, leave me a comment, and uh, give me a thumbs up. And if you hate it, don't be afraid. All right, we'll come back. I think the family's almost home, actually. we've made a windmill stand so all I need now is the top I'm gonna do a little bit bigger see if I had some artistic freedom on this I've got an idea of making an oversized piece of metal that kind of has like some maybe wavy design if I can get the plasma wired up like some wavy designs almost like tentacles or sun rays or like the points of a star and you put it down and then you can fold those over like maybe a starfish is sitting on but that's too. But you get what I'm saying. You know, you'd have something that would kind of, you know, and I put the top on and I might, I might do something down. I don't know. That's what's cool about, I guess I'm a maker, but at my heart, I think I'm an artist. I think so. I think my wife and my kids and just, the way my life has progressed has made me an artist, where I get to see the world a little bit more differently. Oh, that's cool. Um, you know, artist, maker, one and the same. I'm gonna cut me a piece, 10 by 10, a little bit oversized, maybe a quarter, half inch. It'd be cool to run a tube around the bottom, kind of cap it off, make it look like it was more. She wanted it just like mine. Just like mine. I'm not going to worry about uh, trimming the bottoms or even the top. I'm just going to fill all that with weld at the top and then on the bottom. However, it sits on the ground. That's how it sits. You're not going to look at the feet. And if you're looking at the feet, when you're looking at something like this and noticing that nobody made it level, walk away from that piece, please, before you get knocked out. <laughs> all right, we'll do that and we'll come back. You might recognize this piece of metal. It's uh, the window from the swim packer. Um, I was hunting around and I had bigger pieces, uh, but that was the perfect uh, size, plate, whatever. So I just used the cheek poker. Took me forever to realize what uh, people were saying when they said that, but they're saying cheek poker. And that's a little wire wheel angle brush. And then that, It's the next morning. Look at that. Y'all can hear it. I don't know how much you can see it with this GoPro. Canadian geese this morning. There's Mario. Let's go take a look at this little sunrise real quick. What is it? I don't even think it's quite 8 o'clock yet. Oh, 8.08. Nothing sounds quiet like the eight. Oh wait, money making, money, money making. Super disco, disco, disco. 
Come on, who that is? Look at that. I mean, it's just something else, man. All right, I'll go show you the shop, see where we're at this morning. All right, what we did yesterday. I'm gonna go through with my uh, cheap poker and uh, clean all that up. I guess I could use that too, but I probably should weld right there. I don't know. I mean, it's welded everywhere. Why well, weld the bottom? Well, I welded those like that up there. Bloop. 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 See, welding everything from the back. You can't see it from the front. Ooh, that look good. That look good. Yeah, so I'll probably go through and Yeah, so we'll do that and uh, come back. And then we'll throw it outside, we'll get it painted up. And actually, you can see where I painted the last one. Right there, see it goes bam, 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 bam. So we'll set it next to it. Yeah, we'll come back. Hope everybody's having a wonderful morning. Well, actually, it's my morning. But if you've had a morning already i hope it was wonderful does that make sense uh still gonna get the red bull in me yeah, not quite woken up but ryan you're wearing the same clothes you were wearing yesterday i am a dirty man i can't help it i don't know my shower twice three times a week maybe They won't mind. They're another awesome band. Uh, if I get in trouble, this will be all right. Moon Hooch. Hmm. Well, let's uh, let's get caught up. I wiped every surface down with this stuff right here, and then I put one coat of that stuff on. And uh, I did it really thick here at the legs, just because that's what's going to be on the ground. Um, but there it is, all all done. I got some splatter in there, but it'll be okay. Just don't look. So what are we doing now? Well. I can go ahead and paint that, but I need to start figuring out these things and getting my the shovel head part of the windmill together. Um, so I think I'm going to do that part, get the shovels all cleaned up, because remember they're all rusted and jankety. Uh, get those cleaned up, get our axle shaft uh, rod thing, get that cleaned up and uh kind of have them laid out i've got five of them um i guess it's pretty 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 cool so i'll get that laid out because that's kind of boring stuff and then we'll come back right before i weld it all together how's that sound yeah um and i just realized uh i've already made a video on making a windmill and so if you want to see how all this stuff goes apart and digs apart Finish watching this one, and then go watch that one. Because uh, that's, I kind of show you how I figured everything out and stuff like that. So, yeah, go do that. I'm going uh, to disassemble five, six, five, six, uh, Chevelles. 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 Probably take the cheap poker and clean it up. And uh, I'm thinking, I might cut some of those off. I don't know. Probably not. I don't know. But 
yeah, I just wanted to let you know that because I'm going to skip ahead until probably till it's already put together and then we'll paint it. Do it! Alexa, play. Um, you don't see that? I was asked on the last one how I got my angle for my uh, windmill made out of shovels. Uh, last time, I just, I think, I just kind of twisted it, but I'm going to do it a little bit more consistently this way. I'm going to use my uh, angle finding uh, a Matic 4 million here and just put that there. And I've got it spaced over there on that one and then looks like I might need some new gloves uh, but I just use that and then what I'll do is I'll tack it in there and then that's hot by the way and then right there I'll just give it a little tack and then we'll put it all together and then I'll spin it see how it does um, on really windy days man mine gets it going and I think this is a more aggressive angle, so maybe it'll scoop it up. Or do you do it? I don't know. I mean, you need to know it's a shovel, right? Do I do it more like that? I like that. Like, uh. Is that going to be enough? And then just center this jobby. Come on! And then the other shovels come in. Should I offset it? Uh, you see what we're working with here? It's the guessing game. I think I'm just going to do that. See how it works? Hey, I'm making it. So however it, it ends up, I did that on purpose. Remember that. So I just want to show that off real quick. Back to the music. Alexa, play. What does that mean? Does that mean we did it? Does that mean I did it? Oh, let's look. Try to get that. There we go. I just filled all that up with weld. I was quite proud of myself. I was quite proud of myself welding on this thin stuff. I just. Just real slow. Uh, Bart. What do you think? What's he doing? He smells the raccoons we got. Uh, look at that. Uh, there's no play in that. And then I'll put them collars on. What am I doing next? I guess I'll go ahead and prime that while it's on here. I'll just spin it around and spray it. Uh, do the same thing with this. I'm trying to think. I need some weight on the back. Hmm. Anything I put on here is going to make that not want to come off. It's not a big deal. I was thinking if I had a pulley, I could put a pulley on here with a bit of rope that came down with a weight with another pulley on it and just kind of counteract that as it spun, that would spin. I don't know. I actually went around and looked for a pulley. I had one at one time. I don't know what I'm going to do here. But there's the update. What y'all think? I always like the shadow. Peach! Is that Nugget? That's Chicken Nugget. He's our other cat. Chicken Nuggy, where are you going, baby? He's a little scared. Uh, he's Shadowfax's brother. Shadowfax stays inside. She's got the janky paw. Um, all right, we'll come back. Hold on. I got some updates. This is hot. Hot, hot, hot. That's about lunchtime, isn't it? Woo! Good way to get all that paint off, too. Is that still hot? Yeah. Alright, so we got that done. But it's heavy that side. Um, I want to be able to take the the head of it off that's the only part that i didn't like about mine 
And so I made this stuff hot, heat travels, heat travels. What I did, the welder is still on. I'll tell you what, that, uh, what is that? That, I don't know, the green one from Harbor Freight, uh, that welder sure is quiet compared to the other ones. Um, I've got some of this thick gauge, one inch inside diameter pipe. Uh, actually, that was a lamp at one time, but I cut a little section of that off. And then I welded on, I welded on these rods that actually came off of a treadmill. I know where all this stuff came from. That's what I love about using junk is that you can, t you can follow the story to where it ends up like what it wants to be. Like the, like the adventure of the brave little toaster. You could see him at the end. You know, it's, I love that movie by the way. Uh, the Adventures of the Brave Little Toaster. Um, but I cut that off. I drilled me a hole and I tapped it for a quarter inch bolt. That's hot. It's hot. It's hot. The metal's hot, so it's hard to get it in there. Um, but that will go like diet. Look how good that looks. And we'll tighten that down like so I might even drill an oversized hole you know that side if I can drill through this material and then I've got two of these hammerheads here I've got another one at the job site I hope um, and then I'll take those and then just wherever they're sitting like because they're not it's not centered you know this is a what is that half inch and that's three quarter inch but what i'm gonna do can y'all see can y'all see let me bring you in closer how's everybody's day today y'all having a good day um let me show you what we're talking about to get things centered on an uncentered surface as long as you're using like five you know and i'm using three four would be harder but use three and then you can take it if you set that just like that and you let gravity let it do its thing and then you tack that in place and then when the next one comes along take it like diet and then do it again on the third one and that's gonna be it um i gotta get this from the job site because i don't have another i don't have three of the same hammers here I've got a bunch of the four pound and I've got a couple of the eight pounds, but I don't have any of these. What are these? Three pounds. Um, so if I use two threes and a four, it's not going to be balanced. <sighs> so what? Uh, I mean, you want me to go over everything we've done and then I'm going to come back, I guess, when it's all done. Because painting, blah, that's, she wants it rainbow like ours. Chip the concrete. That's okay. Um, let's go over everything we did. Uh, this video is probably getting pretty long. That's okay. If you're still here, thank you. Uh, or if you've skipped to this part, uh, when you're done watching this part, go back to the very beginning of the video, click on it, and just walk away. Because uh, YouTube algorithms and stuff, it looks good when it's all the way watched. Uh, <laughs> so I picked up two round one inch uh straddle bearings i don't know what those are called uh just got those done up like that and these have a little bit of a swivel to them so if it's not 100 percent straight that is okay five shovels made a star in the middle got that welded all the way around got everything primed with ow that sun is beating down on me and i didn't use my welding jacket so it's burning my skin uh, got all that primed with rust-oleum. I've got two lock collars. What colors, Ryan? She said rainbow. See, I've got two of those. One of those. One of those. And then another one of those. Um, anytime I see a hammer, I grab one. But I'll have the two locking collars that'll be on there. That's from where I drilled and tapped it. Um, two locking collars, we'll go and we'll use some, 
bright paint i mean i've got a bunch of bright paint and stuff that we'll use um that should be fine i like the colors the color scheme red orange yellow green blue indigo and violet uh that's rainbow i don't like rainbow who's that there's a cat what are you doing nugget Lord. all right so we'll come back when that stuff's put together and it's done because it's pretty much done this one actually is a hair taller than mine i think um but you always make your your base bigger than what this is going to be on the top um that way it's not top heavy that's why they do them like that but as long as your base is bigger than whatever you put up here should be fine at least that's my that's that's my experience so all right let's get it done and it might be tomorrow when i come back i don't know i've been filming like three day been filming like three four days straight got some videos coming out bye come back bye alexa pause Mario, and before I forget, uh, go back. You know the 80s band, Scorpions? Uh, go back to their first stuff, like their 70s stuff. Their first one, goodness gracious. After you watch this and you go watch the other windmill uh, thing, go listen to their first album. It's, uh, it's tasty. Before I forget. Yeah? Hmm? Hmm? You like it? Uh, it's the morning, next day. Uh, a little sinusy. Haven't cleared everything up yet. But I made these off camera. These are aluminum. And uh, I've got some steel rivets. Uh, and I did steel on purpose because after time, these will start to rust. And that's gonna, that's gonna give you something, something cool running down right here. Uh, all the other areas shouldn't rust except for the bolts, but I just think that's going to look cool anyway. Um, mazel. So, put these on here. Oh yeah. Got a new rivet gun. Well, new to me. Somebody had returned it at Lowe's. And it was in an open box. So... I grabbed it. Only thing wrong with it is I had a spring that was out of alignment in here. Um, you know, look out for that stuff. Let's take a look at it. I am pretty excited uh, about this one. It turned out way better than I thought. On the other side here, I just did some brushed aluminum look. Uh, I showed most of this off on my Facebook Live yesterday. If you haven't checked me out there, check me out. Um, I do videos that are a little bit more, you know, kind of what's going on on everything else. What are you doing there? Uh, but this is it. We're done. Uh, I've got my uncle's birthday party to go to. I'm a little tie-dyed this morning, huh? Yeah, I didn't pay attention. I just threw everything off. Uh, yeah, so I'll come back tomorrow uh, which will be like 10 seconds for you guys. And uh, I'll put this in her yard. And we'll see how she thinks. She likes it. Um, right? I haven't greased it yet. I still got to grease it. Believe it or not, I work on heavy equipment. I've probably got 30 grease guns. But I don't know if I have one here. I have a little bitty one. But I don't know where I put it. Cha? Y'all want to go... Uh, you want to go look at the other one real quick? Let's go look at the other one. Yeah, I don't know how much talking and stuff I'll do when I'll deliver it. Um, so if I don't say bye, bye! Uh, check out the first one. Um, I like the way that I did this one. I learned a tremendous amount. But uh, I really like the second one. I mean, they both still work. I'll look out here sometimes when it's really windy. That thing's just getting it. Um, and I just used some regular bearings for that. Uh, 
yeah so it's a beautiful day uh go out there be nice to somebody we got a car driving by be nice to somebody might as well i mean life's short uh nothing's really guaranteed other than how you Nothing, nothing's really guaranteed other than how you interact with others. So let's keep that in mind um, and know that your presence and know that your presence when you walk and when you walk into a room is a lot more important than you think it is. So, but go have an awesome day. Uh, I'll get some footage of me putting it in the yard, and I guess that's it. Bye. I'm out here talking and look who look who came uh, up from underneath the bushes so this is mario uh, another one of my pets before another car comes let me get out of here bye for real this time bye yep mm-hmm 100 percent fits in let me see if i can do that without showing there i filmed it once and i showed the address all kinds of places but she's 100 percent happy with it she could not be more thrilled it fits in with all the other pieces in her yard i mean i could just i could do a tour of it these are plasma cut rings that somebody's picked up put them together same thing with that i mean you just you walk around your scrap yards you get inspiration you use your imagination i mean look at that those are knives spark plugs let's let's use our imagination i'm gonna show off her her painting real quick it's really cool y'all have an awesome day